So, Frederick, uh, let's start about your Christmas. <laughs> How was it? Yeah, it was a nice Christmas. I have my parents uh, here in Lisbon. Uh, so they are here for the Christmas and yeah, we celebrate it in how we do it in Norway and we eat um, not the bacalhau, but uh, the, the bacalhau. How, we, how we eat it in, in Norway. Yeah. yeah, did you try it, bacalhau uh, in Portuguese tradition? Yeah, of course, I've tried it um, and it's a very good fish from Norway, of course, so uh, it's, it's, a, it's a good dish. You have an image uh, uh, of uh, an extreme, extremely discreet person. Can you can you uh, speak a little bit about you, about yourself outside the pitch? I think I'm a calm person, and I try to be uh, nice with everyone. And uh, yeah, I think I'm uh, a comfortable person to be around and don't take a lot of space. But um, yeah, I think uh, yeah, I think that's a little bit uh, me. <laughs> and how about your life in Lisbon? Yeah, it's really good. Uh, I really like it here. Um, and I think the people here are really good. I like the, the Portuguese people, uh, how they are. And, and the city, I think it's a really nice city. And uh, the club, of course, uh, that I spend the most of my time here and uh, in the games and with the fans. I think uh, it's, it's amazing. The fans recognize you in the street. <laughs> ah, not always. <laughs> I can I can walk in peace. And uh, what about the um, Norway uh, players from Norway? Uh, Azar Karadas. Do you know it? Yeah, I know him a little bit. Rushfeld. Yes. Uh, Rushfeld. Do, yeah. do you do you know them uh, history in the in Benfica? Yeah, I know As <laughs> I know Azar Karadas uh, uh, that he played there. I don't think Rushfeld played there. No, but no. I think he Je was almost signing. almost signing. Um, <laughs> But uh, Karadas, I, I know, uh, and he played there, I think he played there one season and then he was on loan two other seasons. Uh, but I know him a little bit and I spoke yeah. with him and uh, he, he also had a really good time here. Okay, and what's about Sheldrup? Uh, do you believe that he still, that he, he can be uh, an important player for Bifik in the future? Yes, I think so. Uh, Andreas... He's in Nushala now, he went on loan and I think it's good for him to get to play more uh, and he's really young but the qualities he, he has is, is really good and I, I hope he will come back here and, and, and show them and I, I think and I hope that he can be an important player in the future. Kasper Tegstad is doing well, uh, do you feel that the Nordic players uh, are uh, well respected in Benfica and in Portugal? Yeah, um, I don't know how many, I think maybe Nordic players uh, are a bit new, it, maybe not so many Nordic players that have been in Portugal uh, and now there are more I think, uh, as you say Azar Caradas was the first one and now me and then Sheldrup and now uh, of course Alex and Kasper is the Danish but uh, yeah I think uh, we have a good uh, good name and I think, of course, you have Holland and Ødegård who maybe help uh, the, the Norwegian players uh, uh, to get a better name and maybe people and clubs and leagues, they see more to Norway. And I think, um, I think the players there are uh, a bit underrated. I think it's a decent league and uh, I think there are many good players from Norway. Uh, let's talk a little bit about your signing. Um, how did you know about the Bific interest? You still remember? <laughs> yeah, I, I remember my agent uh, called me, of course, to say that uh, Benfica was uh, interested and uh, yeah, it was something that could happen. Uh, and I. What was your reaction? Yeah, my reaction was <laughs> that uh, it was something that I wanted. Uh, uh, straight away, uh, for me it was a no-brainer to to go here, and and from the second I heard about it, I, I wanted to do it, and uh, luckily it happened, uh, and I'm very happy for that, and I no, don't regret it. And uh, yeah, 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 the change was uh, worth it. Yeah, of course, yeah? of course. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't regret going here. Um, 
to be honest, it's been it's been amazing from from the first day. You arrived as uh, unknown uh, uh, player, despite uh, coming from Feyenoord. Do you feel recognized now for the people? Yeah, of course. I've been playing more and more in the few uh, the first months. Uh, I came uh, mostly from the bench, and then I. Yeah, I got to know the team more, and I I started to play more from from the starting eleven, and um, yeah, of course, uh, I think uh, uh, of course people know me more now in Portugal. Uh, I can understand that they didn't <laughs> hear about me from before. I I played in Norway for a long yeah. time, and then only one season in Molde. Netherlands Molde. in Molde, yes, and then only one season in Netherlands. So I understand that the the Portuguese people didn't know me. Last March, you said that uh, 30 million was a lot for your signing. Do you do you remember that to uh, TV2 television? Uh, yeah. Uh, do you still think that uh, Benfica paid uh, uh, nowadays maybe the more money for you? Yeah, I, f I it's still my feeling, and I <laughs> uh, that it was a lot of money. Um, but of course, nowadays the the money is is really high and yeah it's just how it is but of course it's strange to to have this amount uh, over you but yeah it's how it is but um, yeah at the time i felt it was strange to pay so much for me <laughs> <laughs> you play in, self, uh, in uh, several positions in benfica uh, it's it, it is good or, or bad for you uh, maybe for me i I try to look uh, on the positive side of it uh, because, of course, I want to play and I and I want to help the team. And to be honest, I I don't really care about where I'm playing uh, because I try to try to find uh, the enjoyment of playing football anywhere. Uh, if it's on the central midfield or on the winger or on the right back, I I try to enjoy it and. Uh, I think that's um, a strength to to have this mindset. Uh, but of course, maybe maybe it would be better to to just play in one role. Maybe I could improve more. But uh, I don't look at it it's that way. It's the ne the next question. <laughs> Where do you feel most comfortable? Yeah, of course, I've been <laughs> playing mostly on the like uh, number six or number eight, but. Here in Benfica, I think my maybe where I played last season on the left winger, yeah. like inside yeah. tenor or how you say. Um, where the Joe Mario is now playing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think uh, I had a good season last year there. Uh, but to be honest, I I like the right fullback also. I I feel more more and more comfortable there, uh, and uh, I try to try to enjoy when I'm playing there and yeah I I enjoy it as well you are known for running a lot on the pitch uh, so you ever get tired yeah <laughs> <laughs> no I think it's one of my strengths to to run a lot um, mm. but of course I get tired <laughs> also but uh, no I think it's one of my strengths to to run a lot and I think uh, as now I'm playing on the right fullback, uh, I think it's a, a an important uh, weapon to to run a lot, uh, um, to join in the attacking and and rock, run back as well. Champions League didn't go well. What happened? Ah, it's a difficult question. Uh, of course, we were not happy uh, about the performance I think uh, of course it's a tough group uh, but it was a little bit disappointing how how we how we played especially maybe against uh, Real Sociedad in both games and and maybe the second half against Inter uh, away was um, below our, our level I think uh, so that was very disappointing um, but in the end we we had to accept it and try to make the best out of it uh, in the last game um, and we had to win with two goals against uh, Salzburg and luckily we did so I think we just tried to yeah, stay together and, and make the best out of it and now we are in Europa League um, 
which is a good tournament also it's not champions league but yeah i try to i think we just have to accept it and make the best out of it now yeah. if you can reach the the europa league finals twice uh, after leaving the champions league it's a a, a good way to to start no yeah of course the <laughs> that's That's the goal of or the. Yeah. It's a goal. It's uh, it's yeah. A goal. It's it's a to dream. To be in the final. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can say that, but we just have to to take one step at a time. And in Europa League, there are many good teams also. So, of course, it's possible. Uh, but uh, it's a long way, and we just have to take one step at a time. Uh, and how about the Toulouse, the opponent? Do you know uh, uh, anything about uh, Toulouse, or is it's too early to 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 try to to know the the opening? Yeah, it's it's uh, only in February. Yeah, it's in February, and to be honest, I don't know so much about them. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't watch a lot of French football, so and not Toulouse, so yeah. But of course, they they went through in the group and. Uh, that shows uh, that it's a good team uh, and of course I think it's only good teams left in the Europa League now and we have to respect the opponent always and uh, and it's going to be a tough game of course. Do you feel that the pressure on Roger Schmidt and the team increased a lot this season? Uh, maybe like I think last last season was we were on a flow almost the whole season we were in we were playing fantastic football and we were just uh, uh, going on a really good uh, we had a really good season and of course I think if you don't look up at Champions League I think we we are doing quite okay in in the league also we are just one point behind Sporting uh, I think he's recovering in the championship Yeah, I think we are we are it's tight of course between the four teams, but I think we we are still in a good position. Uh it's a, it's many game games left and I think we we are in a decent pos position. Uh Benfica is yeah. still the the champion. It's the the main candidate for the title. Yeah, it's hard to say. I think Sporting is doing well and Porto and Braga also and we just met Braga away. I think Uh, they show that they are a very good team also. I think uh, our opponents are are really good, but we of course we want to we want to um, uh, stay stay in the first position. Sporting course. leads the the championship in the middle of the the season. Uh, is, is it the strongest rival? Ah, it's hard to say, opinion? but I think they look uh, very strong. Uh, I think they look very strong, and for sure, uh, they will. I think they will be be in the title race uh, at the end of the season, and we just have to work hard and stay together, and yeah, try to win as many games as possible, and then then we'll see who who will be the best. Victor Djokovic is also a Nordic player. Do you know him? Uh, did you imagine he would uh, be so good? in the first season in Portugal? Yeah, I knew him a little bit from before uh, because we have some common friends. Uh, so I knew him. Really? Yeah, uh, so I knew him from, from before and I knew that he was a good player. Uh, that he did, uh, did well with the Swedish national team and he did well in Coventry. Uh, he was also in Germany, in Sao Paulo and, and Brighton. So I knew that he, he's a very good player, strong, powerful. Uh, so. Yeah, I was no surprise, and he's done really well, I have to say, and he's a really good player. Um, Porto, Braga, what do you think of these teams? Porto is very different from the, the other year. Yeah, it's hard to say. Uh, I try mostly to focus on, on us, of course. It's it's what we can do something about, you know, to, to focus on us and... and uh, to try to to improve every, every day and... Uh, yeah, what they do uh, is nothing we we can do something about, you know. But I think, of course, they are strong, the, strong the, teams. The classics with uh, with them are the toughest games. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think they are always special. It's special, yeah. of course. 
uh, and they are intense uh, always and uh, it's a little a little bit more than intense <laughs> yeah they are <laughs> they are uh, but yeah of course these are the games that you you really like to play and it's what you dream about so uh, these are memorable uh, games and games that you of course want to win and to look back uh, after your career and and to remember in portugal there is a lot of discussion uh, on the pitch and uh, about the referees what you, what's your op opinion about this no i don't have any strong opinions about the referees to be honest uh, they are, it's a difficult job and they are, I think they're always doing their best they can. So, yeah, I don't have any strong opinions about uh, the referees. <laughs> Let's talk about Koksu. Koksu? Mm -hmm. It's the, the right way to say? I say Koksu, but... Koksu. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, he said he was a little lost when Frederick left Feyenoord. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know? I think he I think he did well when <laughs> when I left they won the championship so I think uh, he was not too lost so I think he did really well when I was not there also mm -hmm. so uh, it was incredible to see they win the championship last year in Netherlands so it's really really well done How does he feel in Benfica Him Yeah yeah I think he feels very good mm -hmm. uh, of course it's uh, it takes some time to to adapt, I think, for every player. Uh, it's a new country, the first time he plays ab abroad. And for me also, when I, the first time I went abroad in Netherlands, I needed time to, to adapt. But he's a fantastic player and, and I think he already showed it. And he's, he's still young. Um, and I think, uh, I think we will see more and more and I think he will grow more and more every, from every game. But do you think that uh, he has already shown everything he knows? No, I think he has more. I more. think he can show show more. I think his pos potential is really, really high. And I think we, we've seen a lot, but I think uh, he can grow more and more in this team also. I think uh, he's got the qualities to be a top, top player. Which Benfica player surprised you the most, in a good way, of course? Um, <laughs> no, it's hard tough to question. say. Uh, tough question. Uh, you can forget. Uh, I, I really, I really like Rafa. Uh, yeah. he's, he, he impressed me a lot since I came, and I think he's a fantastic player. It's the the speed uh, playing with with the ball and with not the and the, without the, the the ball. It's very fast. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, and he can do really amazing things and and hurt uh, hurt teams with his speed and his finesse and his smartness uh, i think it's really hard for a defender to to meet him uh, and i think he's a fantastic player which victory gave you the most pleasure here here in benfica uh it's a tough question uh, i can of course the porto and sporting game at home is is some some special games and of course since we won in the last minute against Sporting at home was was very special uh, and yeah it was it was very I can remember those those games but of course uh, in the championship every game counts and I think you get uh, uh, only three points from from those games also yeah. so so we need to stay focused uh, every game you have five goals for Benfica, you know it. Five goals. Ah, so, which one uh, you like the most? Which one I like the most? Uh, uh, maybe, yeah, of course. It's and it, it's not bad for a medium, uh, for a midfielder. Five <laughs> goals for a defender. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a left back uh, or a right back. Yeah, <laughs> it's okay. Ah, it's okay. It's, it's okay. Uh, now, which one I like the most I don't know maybe of course my first goal was was nice was a cross my three first goals was so actually from from the head yeah uh, but yeah maybe my my first goal uh, for Benfica who are you, uh, your reference players uh, do you have any idols in football or uh, outside of uh, 
not not any special uh, people of course no not not any special players of course i try to watch a lot of football but and try to learn from from the best of course but yeah the national team you are now valid and uh, and you are a, a regular player but your uh, coach Solbakken said that sometime that he wa that you was an underrated player do you feel that uh not not in this moment <laughs> not anymore maybe yeah. <laughs> No, I played a, l a long time in Norway, uh, and I can understand that. Uh, of course, when I come here, that people don't know me and and don't know my qualities. Uh, but as I said in the start, I think there are many good Norwegian players that uh, have high qualities. Uh, um, yeah, and if I'm underrated or not, it's not me to to judge. But yeah, I think. Uh, I think there are a lot of qualities in in the Norwegian league, to be honest. And uh, what about Holland? It's a monster for uh, in, in the television. It's a very good player. You played with him. What what can you say about him? No, like a player, like a person. No, he's a top person. I play with him in in Molde and also with the national team. So it's been fantastic to follow his his journey. Uh, and now he's at the at the very top, so it's been fantastic to follow. And for him, he, he's a top person, fantastic person, and also a fantastic player. Uh, and it's been really nice to to follow his career. Can succeed uh, a Messi, a Ronaldo, like the the best player in the world? Yeah, I think so. Like, I think he's. His biggest strength is to always be hungry. You know, he always wants he wants more and more and more. Uh, if he scores one goal, he wants to score two goals, and if he scores two, he wants to score three. And I think that's a fantastic uh, strength of him. Uh, and I think it's something he will always have. And yeah, he's now at the at the very top, and I think he will he will stay there. What kind of relationship do you have with the with the coach with Roger Schmidt? Yeah, I have a good relationship with him uh, uh, since the beginning, since I came. Uh, I think he's a very nice guy, and I think he, I think it's a. Uh, Even uh, when he asks you to to play like left back or, <laughs> or yeah, right it's, back, <laughs> yeah, it's no problem for me. Of course, we talk about it, and as he knows and uh, how I say it, uh, I'm always up for uh, up for that and. If he wants to use me uh, as a right back or left back, uh, I will always do it. And I think he's a really good coach also. Uh, I think for me and the players, well, we started last season. I think we we play, had a really good season last year. And I think we, we are doing well this season also. And I think um, within the team, uh, we have a lot of faith in, in the coach and in the trainers. So, yeah, we... We, we stay together and, and I think we, we will do well this season also. Okay. Where are you going to spend the new year? Uh, I don't know, actually. Uh, uh, yeah, I think maybe I will stay, stay in Lisbon uh, for the new year. So, yeah, it will be nice. Do you want to leave a message to Befica fans for the new year, for the next year? Yeah, I wish them a happy new year and I hope they... I uh, hope everyone will will stay healthy and stay with with their loved ones in uh, in the New Year's Eve and within the new year. Uh, I hope for many fantastic moments with us, and I hope there can be yeah many many joyful moments with the uh, with us in in the stadium and in away games, and hopefully we we can have something to celebrate. Is there any other topic uh, you would like to to, to cover to, to talk about? No, nothing, <laughs> nothing special. I can I don't know if I forgot uh, uh, an issue. No, no, I think I think it was was good. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you.